Good evening. One year after a Rochester police investigator handcuffed an EMT at a local hospital, we still don't know what, if any, punishment the officer will face. That's right. RPD's internal affairs has already determined the investigator broke the rules. But discipline remains a question mark, while the investigator remains suspended with pay. Today, the EMT sat down with me for her first TV interview to recount the incident and express concern over how discipline is being decided. It's hard, um, not only mentally, but financially. Lakia Smith has yet to return to work as an EMT with Monroe Ambulance, citing a wrist and shoulder injury she says she sustained while being handcuffed by Rochester Police Investigator Charles Lo Tempio a little more than a year ago. The incident captured on surveillance video. Smith had arrived at Strong Memorial Hospital with an elderly patient in need of immediate assistance, and her door hit the side of Lo Tempio's police car. She says Lo Tempio demanded her ID, but she told him to wait until after she walked her patient in. I guess that wasn't good enough. So as we, he walked in, you know, side by side in the hospital with us. And when I got ready to, you know, excuse me, once I finished checking my patient's temperature, that's when Lil Tempio came over, pushed me against the um, registration desk and put me in handcuffs and then put me inside his vehicle and then took me out and then put me inside our PED vehicle. The mo I was just confused because like, it was, I didn't know what was going on. Like, I was in shock. I was confused. I was livid. <laughs> and it was just, it was like a traumatic experience for me. Like, even now, when I go, like, near cops, I get kind of scared because of what happened. I work with cops, like, all the time, closely all the time. But, um, that's why I didn't understand why he was so upset and why he couldn't wait. So you have a respect for what they do? This is not... Absolutely. Like, I don't feel no kind of way towards officers, and especially after that incident. I still don't feel any kind of way. Like, what he did shouldn't reflect on everyone else. After RPD Internal Affairs decided Lo Tempio's actions rose to the level of misconduct, an arbitrator was assigned to review the case and make a recommendation as to punishment. They asked Smith to testify, but she refused when she says the arbitrator decided her attorney could not join her. I didn't feel comfortable at all being in there knowing that Lo Tempio was going to be there. Smith's attorney, Elliot Shields, sees the arbitrator's decision as a bad sign. It tells me that it's very unlikely that Investigator Lo Tiempo will be terminated for his actions and his false arrest and use of excessive force against my client. Smith, who is now on workers' compensation, wants Lo Tempio fired, but says her main goal is to get back into an ambulance and back to work. And City Hall and RPD said they could not comment for this story for legal reasons. Smith has filed a civil suit against the city of Rochester, and we're now awaiting comment from the union that represents Rochester police officers. We'll air that when we get it. Lastly, Smith says over the last year she has not received an apology from Lo Tempio or the police chief, but did get one from Mayor Evans.